It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New Orleans Saints and the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This is taken just shy of the 10. run past the 30-yard line there. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Throwing, Dalton. There's Chris Olave. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the touchdown. Mark Andrews, 38 yards. And the Ravens take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. touchdown this one taken just inside the 10 and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Things a lot different than the last time they were on the field. Remember, they threw the interception, gave up the touchdown, and now trailing 7 to nothing and looking for a response. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Throwing again, Winston on second and 10. 
He's going to look deep down the field. This is caught at the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up. Right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found... That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman, 75 yards. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now, with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Tucker now to add the point after. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 of the 24. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Now Winston. And this pass broken up. Oh, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Winston to throw for it on four. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there, and sure enough, this one's going the other way. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. After the interception, here's Jackson. And he's going to get this down near the 25. 
I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. From the 25 on second down, Jackson. That's complete left side to Bateman. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing is Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And it's now 21-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That would complete to Prochet. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. From the 41, Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. The truck. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Thankfully for the offensive fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one. And the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. To the goal line. 
line, but it's incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will obviously break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. He will push his way down to about the 14. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On third down, Jackson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline. And on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Throwing again on second and ten. Dalton. Oh, he'll look downfield for Camara. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. But whatever they called on defense, they made sure they were ready for the pass on that snap, made the proper adjustments, and helped force an incompletion. Third down, here's Kamara. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the markers. He'll stop him well short of the yellow line. They'll try on fourth. Here's Dalton. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he is going to have the Saints first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play. And the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Dalton. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 20-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Dalton operating in the red zone now. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Another try after the first down sack. Dalton. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. You so have gotten bailed out. Thank you. Because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. Winston keeps it himself. And he'll get you got it. bailed out. You should thank Matt. Touchdown. Send him a letter. Jameis Winston. 
in the final seconds of the first half. And the Saints are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Lots of look to add the extra point. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Taken from about the 12. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Taken from about the 12. offense set at the line for this next drive and they've got the lead CD what do you expect from them in the second half well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball and I certainly think we'll see more of that but I'd keep an eye on that defense and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing if they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards a lot of scrimmage that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield yeah, yeah. Now it's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing now. Jackson on first down. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now Jackson on first down. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 22. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. They yeah, have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Dobbins running out of the gun. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He's taken down at the 17 yard line. It's a pick up of six. It brings up second and four. Another run here with Dobbins. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Dobbins is not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here can really spill an end to their chances. So they need to toughen it up. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff. What was that? Corner and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Now Tucker to end. Because I'm on the phone talking. I'm distracted. So be humble. Don't start talking. Don't start talking reckless. Because I fuck with you. Because because it's a good game. Don't start being disrespectful. You feel me?
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. The first down throw for Winston. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's caught inside. The you know that's fake, as hell. You know that's fake. Look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in the cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. A second down throw for Winston. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw is Winston. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Saints are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. You know you got bailed out. You know that. Admit that. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down at four. gun Jackson and that'll be caught by the big tight end Andrews and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40 on first and 10 it's Jackson a quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, Jackson will keep it. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage so they didn't lose anything. But you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. To throw is Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. 
Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle is going to leave him about a yard or so short. They're going for it with Dobbins. And some room to run now. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on the Yeah, this is exactly what I'm going to do because you keep running man defense, so you will bum, bro. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They'll be brought down on the 30 yards. Yeah, I'm running come for it. I'm beating you. Well, I, and I'm winning. So what are you talking about, clown? Shut your mouth, bitch. Fatigue maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before. Yeah, and I'm beating you with the Ravens. Like, what are you talking about? If I play with the Bills, if I play with if I play with the Buccaneers, you would you wouldn't even have twenty one points. You wouldn't even have seven points, bro. Why would you? This, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, you mad man. <laughs> Two minutes left to play this football game here. You mad, man. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away. And get Why are you still talking? Right. Why are you still talking? You sound like a bitch. Why are you crying? You sound like a bitch. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying, blood? Why are you crying, blood? Why are you crying? Why are you crying, blood? Yeah, you heard what I said. Nigga, what you talking about? You heard what I said. You heard what I said. <laughs> you, look, at, oh, look at you. You mad as hell. <laughs> yeah, you mad as hell. You mad as hell. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Okay, I'm sorry. Why are you mad? Shut up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you garbage. I ain't even gonna lie, you garbage. You horrible. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Tucker now to kick Why are you still talking? I hear you, Mama Lin Boy. Yeah, you hear you, Mama Lin Boy. You sound stupid. You sound stupid. What you thought you was gonna run that back? You stupid. All in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Nephew. A nephew. A nephew. What are, you, what are you talking about? I'm your dad, bitch. What are you talking about? I'm your dad. Nigga, what? I'm your daddy. What are you talking about? You talking about? Matter of fact, you want to talk to your mom? No, shh. You want to talk to your mom? Nah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking. I'm, talk I'm your daddy, but. I'm your daddy, boy. What are you talking about? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you trying to take me there? What? What? what what's wrong with you? Why are you falling? <laughs> why are you falling? You good? You need something else? Did you rage? Did you rage yet? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are. Well, you, you talking about? You know? You know how many rages you got right now? Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Yeah. yeah you talking shit on the video game. Nah, I was going, I was being humble. I was spitting facts. But then you walk in my ear and say some goofy shit, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Bro, shut up, bro. You just stupid, bro. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, so shut up. Hey, shut up. 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 Shut yeah, yeah, I'm going to party. Time to go to No, I'll say it about myself. It's okay. 
You did good. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Hey, 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 listen, you gotta listen to her, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. What are you doing? Shut up. Jade, what are you doing? It's okay. It's okay. He, he knows his place. He knows I'm his daddy. He knows that. He knows that y'all brother and sister. He know. Oh, okay. Yeah, he knows that you brother and sister. Like, I don't know why he even talking about it. Shut you... up, boy. No, no, no. Shut up. What's happening? <laughs> Yeah, he know you guys. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Hey, listen. <laughs> Shut yeah, he, up. Because you mad because you was coming in here and wanting to win, bro. You was trying hard. Running mad defense, running meta plays, bro. What is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with Lil Mars, so you know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, look, look at you, you still running right the book. Mommy, it's okay. <laughs> Your brother knows it's okay. Okay? It's okay. Where, where, where you going? Where you going tomorrow? You going to the beach? No. Where you going? What's it called? Bitch. <laughs> yeah, why why she call you a bitch, bro? Why she, why she just call you a bitch? Oh, you lucky! I tried to run it. Uh, uh -huh. uh, don't, don't don't get too excited, my friend. Why why are you getting so excited? Why you why are you getting so excited? <laughs> I know you're excited, bro. The, the, the hairs in the back of your neck is standing up right now. You're like, oh my god, I done caught this nigga slagging. No, you actually did. I actually just tried to see if I could get it. Why are you still trying? It does sound good. It sounds it sound immaculate, don't it? No, no, my back hurts. Oh, shit. And you failed. And you failed. Congratulations.